you don't want to lose you know hours worth of um, harvesting so this having these enabled will write um, sort of your harvested URLs and also your your poster uh, status uh, to text files in in the scrape box directory um, they'll be sort of in here so that sort of just safeguards your um, your data as you're going along and RSS uh, export settings uh, Scrapebox can create RSS feeds and this allows you to just set your own custom title for the page and and that sort of thing so that's that's your menu system oh sorry we've got the help uh, you've got to check for updates uh, option uh, you've got a link to the user's guide uh, link to the base you'll see the uh, videos on on this page uh, uh, the basic uh, comment poster usage uh, tutorial uh, visit website and restart in uh, debug mode um, you know if something goes wrong the the scrape box team will may ask you to um, to use that one so that's the menu system up the top there and moving down here we've got harvester and this here is your custom uh, footprints uh, you can build your own custom footprint library um, as you can see here I've got a, a Google operator to harvest um, .edu uh, links, education domains um, that's what I've done there so that is your um, uh, footprint here that I was talking about um, that gets saved so if you got footprints that you want to use time and time again uh, say this one you want to search for uh, .edu domains a lot uh, you can just select them from the drop down instead of retyping them each time uh, below that you'll see there's uh, footprints down here these are inbuilt footprints and uh, these are your blog platforms you've got uh, blog engine uh, WordPress and movable type. Uh, they're three different uh, blog platforms that Scrapebox can um, harvest and comment on. So you just tick one of those uh, depending on what what platform you want. And same when you're posting. If you harvest uh, movable type, uh, when you go to comment, you also select the um, the same platform down here. You don't uh, mix your um, URLs. Yeah you harvest uh, one blog type and you comment to the same blog type and you've got custom footprint now that will allow you to search for anything at all um, if you want to search for plig uh, they call it uh, sites if you want to search for forums uh, anything you know if you want to you can even do uh, google link command link google.com and if you want you can type something in there and that'll harvest um, the links from Google uh, you know backlinks to Google I should say so that's what the custom footprint is anything you want um, that's just like uh, typing in the Google search box and you can put keywords in here um, you can also import a list of keywords to, um, to harvest URLs with and you can also scrape um, uh, different keywords. I've done a video on this one here before but just quickly uh, this is a Google Suggest scraper and basically you just type in your keyword there um, hit scrape and that's scraped uh, related uh, phrases and, and keywords from Google relating to that and I mean you can transfer them back scrape again and wind up with millions of keywords uh, so that's that one you can also save your keyword lists out and clear your box so that's your your harvester controls for your, your footprints and keyword um, data uh, moving down here you've got uh, select engines and proxies so these are your engines, Google, Yahoo, Bing and AOL so you can harvest um, URLs from, from those four engines and also with Google you've got a option to change um, your geographic um, Google location so you can type whatever you want in there uh, I'll put google.com.au for the Australian Google and 
now I've selected that I can harvest from google.com.au um, you've got use proxies here um, of course you've got to have proxies in in the box below um, these are optional they're, they're good when um, harvesting from Google because Google will block you if you you go scraping too much data so uh, they're good for harvesting um, amount of results this is the amount of URLs that you want to harvest um, as you can see before um, I've done site edu I've just used the keyword um, blog I chose a hundred and here it is here I got a um, hundred dot edu uh, blogs and you've also got a time timeline search uh, this allows you to refine your searches to pages indexed within a certain time frame um, I'll just bring up Google here uh, on Google you've got an advanced search uh, setting over on the side here and if you go into that you've got uh, date uh, numeric range date how recent the page is so you've got uh, this is what scrape box type so uh, harvest sorry I'll put in 24 hours I'll type test just to show you what um, scrape box is actually doing here and here you go uh, test you'll see here 10 hours ago that page was um, cached 41 minutes ago 5 hours ago so that option in scrape box will allow you to um, uh, harvest uh, freshest results so you, you know if you don't want to be commenting on you know blog posts written five years ago you can come in here and select uh, your time frame same with Yahoo same with Bing uh, sorry Bing hasn't got one and same with um, AOL uh, when you've got uh, time span enabled it'll let you know on on the tool here um, so you can you can use that one to sort of further um, get uh, more relevant results and fresher results uh, down here you've got the proxy harvester and just going through this quickly what this does is harvest uh, proxies from a number of uh, public lists public websites there's one two th there's five sources in there and four thousand or so uh, proxies uh, they won't all be alive but um, here's some old ones that I had in the tool it allows you to test them, harvest them um, you know remove duplicate proxies um, you know save them out into lists and and that sort of thing um, I got my connection up too high there uh, save proxies you can uh, transfer them back to the main application so that'll transfer the one good one uh, back here to scrape box ready to use um, I'll do another video on on this proxy section as well so that's that's basically it it'll just tell you the IP you can sort by IP uh, port uh, whether it's good and that sort of thing uh, you can also load proxies in from elsewhere you can use your own private proxies and um, with a username and password um, over here is the uh, harvested um, URLs box uh, when you when you harvest actually I'll just clear that I'll tick WordPress blogs on edu domains with the keyword uh, blog I won't use proxies I'll just click the button as you can see here I'm searching google.com.au um, tells me completed pops up a box telling me uh, what engines how many keywords I got uh, you can export uh, that data as an Excel um, file and over here this is what I've just harvested um, edu domains uh, you can you can sort them alphabetical uh, 